So I have 16 first edition Soul of the Duos packs today that I'm going to be opening. Uh, this is a pretty cool set because I believe it was the first English set to feature the Ultimate Rares. And this was also one of the first set that uh, Konami stopped combining sets to catch up the English TCG to the Japanese. So uh, the pull ratio for Hollows are much more difficult on this set. Uh, you know, look at ratios here where ultra rares are 1 in 24 and super rares are 1 in 6 and this is only a 60 card set so there's only 7 super rares and 4 ultra rares so pulling hollows are much more difficult out of these uh, later sets that weren't from the first 7 from LOB to Ancient Sanctuary so you have Sandwich, 2 man battle cell, Dark Mimic level 1 this is also the set that uh, introduced level monsters, which were kind of interesting, but never really caught on. It was an interesting idea, but it was just one of those things that uh, ended up being kind of a forgotten and lost thing within Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Mind Crush, and we got a Ultra Rare in our first pack. That's nice. Uh, oh, no, it's an Ultimate Rare. Sorry. That's actually supposed to be just a Super Rit, I think. It's Greed. Um, not a very good card. Each time a player draws cards because of a card effect, he or she takes 500 points of damage during the end phase for each card drawn by the card effect. So not really that great of a card. It's kind of cool artwork though, we gotta admit. And it's really cool that we got a um, ultimate rare. I wasn't really expecting to get any ultimate rare. I was happy just to get like hollows out of this packs. And then elemental dragon here. So yeah, this is a actually pretty cool set. Um, card I'd really love to pull would be um, Infernal Fire Blast. I think that card is just so sick it's got an amazing artwork on it and then any of the uh horus level cards the horus black flame dragon and if i can get this pack to open from the other side i guess there we go taunt Sandwich. Oh, that's an interesting card, too. It's got Sangin and Witch of the Black Forest as its uh, fusion materials. Mind Air, or Mind on Air. Mind Crush. That's actually a really good card. Um, it was really good for whenever your opponent uh, was searching for stuff out of their deck. So you could just have Mind Crush and then whenever they search something, obviously they'd have to show it to you when they added it to their hand. And then you could just Mind Crush it. And it was also really good for Dark World decks because that deck a lot of times had uh, cards where you'd play that would allow you to see your opponent's hand. And then you could have Mind Crush face down and then use the Mind Crush and make them discard whatever you wanted. And then Horus of Blackflame Dragon level 4, so that's cool. I wanted any of the Horus cards. Level up, that was the go with the level monsters. And then Charcoal and Patchy. Mind on air again. Spirit barrier. Oh, <laughs> enraged Muka Muka. Um, this card is interesting because uh, I'll read its effect. It's a five star. It was basically like the better version of Mooka Mooka, I guess, or the more powerful. Uh, increase the attack and defense of this card by 400 points for each card in your hand. Uh, but the thing with, with this card is that you could use Giant Rat to summon this card out into the field from your deck. If Giant Rat's destroyed, you can summon, special summon a 1500 or less attack monster that's Earth attribute onto your side of the field. So you could have four cards in your hand, have a Giant Rat destroyed, summon this out, and then it's going to gain uh, 16... 100 life points so it's going to be a 2800 monster out in the field that you get to summon with giant rat so i actually used this in a 
Earth Rock deck that I had open back in the day. And it was kind of a cool combo that you could do. Another greed. This is just the super rare version, not the ultimate rare, but it's cool. Upside down card. Another horse, black queen dragon level four. Another charcoal and patchy. A lot of a lot of the duplicate rares. This is a small set though, so that can happen. And you only have got a sixty card set. Oh, there it is, Infernal Fire Blast. Oh, that's sick, and it's a, it's ultimate rare. Holy shit. Oh, wow. That's pretty much like the best card you can get. This or uh, Horse the Black Flame Dragon level 8 as an ultimate rare. Oh, this is sick. This is definitely the card that I wanted the most out of these packs. I'm so glad I bought these now. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's look at the back. All right, you can see the streak on the back. Uh, if I get the lighting on it, there's a small like kind of streak on the back, but that'll come off um, if you just wipe it off with a um, microfiber uh, um, microfiber cloth. There's a little bit of a box indentation that the ultimate rares get on the back of this card, but it's not very prevalent. It's not very noticeable at all, so I don't think that'll hurt the grading at all. So yeah, this is just absolutely awesome. I can't believe I got this card. Yeah, this will be uh, definitely going, getting graded here soon. That's it. That's amazing. Rishia Seduction. I can't pronounce that first word. Uh, it was a flip and like take control of your opponent's uh, monster effect. It was kind of used, I guess, in that. Not really. And Ectoplasmer, super rare. Card that was used in anime a lot. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but a couple of times. Usually by the villains. Ooh. Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 6. Super rare. That's cool. Been really sweet if it was an ultimate rare, but I'm not going to complain. Super rare of this. That's cool. I'll take it any day. The Horus cards are pretty cool out of this set. Ultimate Insect level 1. Mystic Swordsman level 2. I didn't know that Mystic Swordsman was in this set. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I did. I just forgot. I think level 2 and level 4 they're in this set. And then the level 7 is in a different set. For whatever reason. For Konami logic. Alright. And the final pack. Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. This is actually a really good card. It's probably, probably one of the best rares out of this set. Um, because I'll just freeze the effect here. If this card attacks a face-up defense position monster, the monster with this, or destroy the monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. 
So that, that was that's obviously a really good effect because um, stuff like Spirit Reaper was in the game. Um, just high defense monsters, if they were just face up in defense mode, could attack it with this card and destroy it. And then being a warrior, you could get it to your hand with uh, reinforcements of the army, obviously. And then being a light, it's actually pretty nice for like uh, the chaos decks. So this wasn't too bad of a card. It wasn't great by any means, but had had a nice effect that was usable for a four star monster. So I'll do a quick quick recap of the cards that we pulled. Ninja Grandmaster, Mystic Swordsman level two, Ultimate Insect level one, uh Rishili, whatever of seduction, spirit barrier, charcoal and patchy two, uh Horus the Black Flame Dragon level four two, and Mind on Air two. And then for the hollows, we actually did really well as far as pull ratio for the hollows. We have the greed super rare, the greed ultimate rare. The Ectoplasma, super rare. The Horse Black Friend Dragon, level 6, super rare. And then, obviously, the best card out of the entire uh, packs, the 16 packs, was the Inferno Fire Blast, ultra rare. Actually, uh, ultra rare, but uh, in ultimate rare uh, rarity. So yeah, anytime you get an ultra rare as an ultimate rare, it's obviously amazing. Uh, they're just so hard to get. Ooh, just notice that there's like a little spot down here at the bottom. That's unfortunate, but still an amazing card to get. And so, yeah, overall, that was five hollows, I believe, out of 16 packs, which is really good. And two ultimate rares, which is what you would expect to get out of a booster box. So, yeah, really good packs uh, to open. Um, so, yeah, this went way better than what I expected it to. I was just hoping to get a couple of hollows and maybe an ultra, ultra rare, not an ultimate ultra rare. So, um, really happy about this pack opening, but... As always, uh, thank you for watching.